If you want to impress your family or your guests with an awesome salad that is hearty and filling, this is the recipe for you. Welcome back to The Silly Kitchen. Today we are making an anti-pesto salad. The thing I love about this recipe is that it's not a lot of work. As long as you have all the ingredients, you just have to put it all together. So let's go ahead and get started before I get too hungry. <laughs> the first thing we need is a big bowl and some cheesy stuffed tortellini. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I guess I am hungry. I needed a little snack there just to get through the episode. Okay, so I have boiled some store-bought cheese-filled little tortellinis because that is the base because this is going to be easy. So I'm going to put that in the bowl. Oh, don't let two little guys get missed out there. We want everybody. And then we're going to build based on the ingredients that I have here. So I'm starting with um, the pasta and I don't want it to get sticky. So I have a jar of artichoke hearts and all the juices and oils that are were in that jar I'm keeping and I'm putting that into my salad first because that's going to act as a bit of a salad dressing but also like I said the pasta now is not going to stick while we work with the rest of our ingredients. So just give that a little mix make sure all the pasta gets coated with our pretend salad dressing I guess. So two ingredients so far tortellini and some artichoke hearts from the jar with the liquid. Let's go through the rest of this stuff. I have some very thinly sliced red onion that is gonna go in next. I like that for flavor and for color, but I thinly, thinly slice them so that they're not too overpowering in every bite. Pick your favorite olive. I have garlic stuffed olives, and I'm gonna put them in whole. They are pretty big, but that is okay. Easy so far, right? Pickled red peppers along with some pickled onions is what I want to throw in next. And a lot of these ingredients are very juicy. You're seeing kind of the moisture coming out of the jar. Don't worry about that. That is giving us the moisture that we need for the salad dressing because we're not actually dressing it too much anyway. Bocconcini, cheese is life. Cheese is my favorite. I bought a um, little jar tub, tub, <laughs> I bought a little tub of bocconcini balls and I just cut them in half because they were actually really big. Um, so I did do them in half and then it feels like you're eating more because they're smaller. So that goes in next. Oh, I think that might be just the right amount of cheese. I'm not sure. Then the other thing that I did is I took big slices of prosciutto out of the package from the store and I just cut them into kind of bite-sized pieces um, so that again I'm not overpowered by one particular bite and so they don't stick together I'm just kind of making sure that I'm putting them into the salad easily because we're going to give it a mix anyway but it, like see how there's two here I don't want them to get stuck together so this is the hardest work that you're gonna do making this salad, is making sure things don't stick together. Pasta doesn't stick together, prosciutto doesn't stick together. Voila, we are on our way to almost eating. <laughs> and just like that, we are almost done. I am going to add, just to finish the dressing, half of the juice of a lemon. So we're gonna freshly squeeze that into the bowl. Mm, 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 mm. If you want to use a whole lemon, you can, but I think half is going to give you that right amount of acidity so that you don't get too much of that punch and you get more of that oily flavor from the artichoke hearts. We do not need salt, but we do need pepper. Just with all the kind of pickly items in there, the salty brine from some of the olives. I'm not going to add salt, but I do like pepper, so I am going to add quite a bit of that. And for all of my foodie friends out there who have a stirring obsession, this is where we get to 
mix this all around. I want the pepper to just really break up into the salad so that I'm not getting a big bite of any particular flavor, especially pepper because I put a lot of it on there. Oh, it smells good, smells good. I'm loving this. And it's such a pretty punch of little colors like that prosciutto kind of purpley red and those red peppers pop out and then the purple from the onions. It's just a very aesthetically pleasing salad to me even though it's cheese and olives and pasta. <laughs> Ooh, okay, last ingredient that I have for you is some fresh arugula. Now I normally when you build a salad, you build a salad with the lettuce on the bottom and then you build whoopsies don't lose any and then you build from you know the bottom up but because this isn't your regular salad I just kind of want the arugula to complement everything else that is in here as opposed to it being a very leafy green salad and then having the ingredients on top so this is where I just kind of eye out how much of the arugula I actually want in the salad based on how many other ingredients that I have. And then all I wanna do is coat the arugula with all the beautiful flavors that are already in here and give it a really good mix. And that is it. A bunch of ingredients that you can find at your local grocery store made into a hearty and delicious lunch or dinner salad. And I think the ultimate test of whether it turned out or not is giving it a taste and making sure that all those flavors balance. So I've got a little tortellini, I've got a little prosciutto, um, I need something pickled on here too. Oh, I'm, oh, I almost drooled into the bowl. Um, let's do an olive. Come on, olive, get on here. There we go, and now I have a very well-rounded bite. Mm. <laughs> mm. This is a zing in your mouth. Mm. Okay, I need to go have a couple more bites. I think that olive may have dripped on my chin a little bit. Let me make sure. <laughs> I love these kind of quick and easy dinner and summer salad ideas because it really is just that easy and beautiful too. I hope that you try something like this at home. Recipes are always a guide, so do whatever you want in this style of salad. Use kind of the base, but if you don't like green olives, use black olives. If you don't want olives at all, use something else. There are so many options when following a recipe get creative, get delicious, and I will see you again soon.